Welcome to the show with a huge sigh of relief now that Southland has sneaked into the ITM Championship playoffs despite the ugly loss in the unsuccessful Shield Challenge thanks to Tasman pounding Manawatu into submission. Hawks Bay furthered their cause with the upset over Wellington. Northland sent Rene Ranger off with a rare win. Canterbury broke Harbour's record of never having lost a nil. And Otago finished off a sublime week with three wins. Auckland the most prestigious scalp. Well, Josh, gutting to be out of the game so early, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, we just made a few mistakes really um, quite early on, and you know they punished us. And yeah, just uh, it was disappointing to be behind that early. You had a ton of ball. You really made a mess of that line outs. Yeah, I thought our set piece was pretty good, and um, you know we had a great start, a couple of steals, and we we're down there half, and then you know we they kicked it back down. We made a mistake, and you know we were under pressure, and you know they capitalised from that. Their kicking game was good, Baden carved off huge chunks. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, you know, when we gave away penalties, they, um, you know, he's all, you can't give away penalties to him, he'll knock them over. And also, you know, he just knew, knew that field and really um, had us running around. Any thought at half time that you could turn around mentally as much as anything? Yeah, definitely. Um, in the second half, we had the win, and um, we come back um, from a few games this year, so you know, uh, it was still positive. We had to change a lot. We knew we were making a lot of mistakes, so we had to cut that out, and unfortunately, we didn't. And with that buffer, they could just man up on defence, couldn't they, and shut you down? Yeah, definitely, and um, I thought they did that quite well. We tried to get our runners going, and they're um, getting good line speed and um, cutting us down. So, And also we made um, a few mistakes in the second half as well um, throughout the back, so we couldn't really get our game going. Was the fire in the belly uh, this time for this game? Oh, definitely. You know, it was a shield game, um, semis on the line, boys were excited, and, um, you know, it's just I just don't, you know... I don't understand how we didn't perform. You only have to be slightly off your game, don't you? And in this competition, there's, there's too many good teams around. Yeah, like especially against counties, you know. They're, they'll punish you if you make mistakes, and they did last night. Well, Dave, a lot of familiar errors, which would have annoyed you. Yeah, it was. You know, um, you know, we talk about getting the fundamentals right, and we, um, you know, first 10 minutes there, we were 13 points down or 12 points down because we couldn't take high balls and we, we couldn't control the ball on the ground. And, um, you know, you let them in behind you and you, and you pay the price. As soon as they saw you a little bit nervous under the ball, they put more up. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, again, I expected they did that for about 20, 25 minutes, and then they eased off us, and I, you know, I was pretty happy about that. But you know, again, and, and it was disappointing just for half time to let that, that, that third try in, which you know really made it, uh, I guess, a job too far to get out. You know, um, up to 20 points in the second half. A few handling errors. It were condition difficult. Were it? Yeah, it was slippery out there. You know, we uh, walked over the ground and everything. There was a bit of rain and so forth, but. Um, you know, and again we, you know, we battled away in the second half, and I, you know, I was, I was a wee bit disappointed in some of the refereeing in the second half around the driving malls. You know, they were coming in the sides and and um, weren't going back when we got the drive on, and they're just coming in and, and pulling us down. So, um, you know, we had three three drives on that line there, and we couldn't get across, but you know, we had good momentum, but um, wasn't to be. The stats were stacked in your favour. You had ton of position, ton of territory, but it means nothing. Oh, it doesn't. No, and. Um, you know, counties are like Wellington. They only need to sniff of the ball and they'll, they'll beat you, and that's what they did to us. And they've got uh, real fervour up there at the moment, haven't they? Everything's some momentum's on their side. Yeah, and it's, um, you know, they're, they're big boys, and, um, you know, they've, um, they're confident, and, um, you know, and we let them in the game, and uh, once you do that, you, you'll pay the price. Did you get a feeling at any stage during that second half you might be a bit of a resurgence that we've enjoyed a couple of times this year? Yeah, well, I thought a couple of times when we got down there and had line outs, you know, because our line outs worked pretty well and we've, we've driven well this year. If we could have got one of the two of those over, you know, we were back in the game, but it um, wasn't to be. Is the want here with this team if we get the second chance at, at another trophy? Oh, you know, they're pretty excited to, um, you know, to see what happens on Sunday and then, we, then hopefully we move on. Because you're just starting a new competition altogether, don't you? And you can forget what's happened in the past. Yeah, there's no, um, you know, there's no history. You don't take any history with you in regards to points, and it's it's on the day. And and it looks like now if we uh, we sneak in, we play Tasman and and Blenheim, so we basically know where we're going if we um, if Tasman went on Sunday. Well, Cardiff, it's a bad news, good news week for you. And let's start with the bad news: the Shield game didn't go to plan. Yeah, no, really, it wasn't really our night. We started off pretty pretty good and I was sort of happy with how we were progressing in the first 15 to 10 minutes but um, sort of started to fade away one mistake and then sort of cost us and we're back in a half and then from then on sort of just went downhill. You've got plenty of ball to work with but they're just hard to break down the, the Steelers. Yeah hard to break down sort of um, by the time we got the ball they were sort of already in our face and sort of couldn't, didn't really have much to do with it other than to take it in or to try and set another platform to launch off but it wasn't really happening for us and it wasn't really our night. Were harsh words spoken at halftime? Uh, not really, sort of coaches were still positive, 
um, that we didn't play much uh, football in, our, in the first half and they were pretty confident that we'll go out there in the second half and uh, do a comeback like we have in the past. And so I was pretty confident going out in that second half knowing that we had the win behind us and that we could put a, a few points on like counties did against us in the first half, but sort of execution and poor skills um, sort of added to that and just got a launch of anything. They had a good game plan though, they put some high balls up, they put pressure on the catcher, so it wasn't easy? Yeah, sort of, um, yeah, it's sort of just hard to get back and to just uh, reload and just try and get a real good defensive lineup to try and break down their um, game breakers and they, they've got a lot, a lot of good guys who can run off the ball like Frank Halai and everyone's just coming from everywhere so it's pretty hard just to cover on D so but yeah. They've got no small guys either have they? They're all big and fast. No nah, no small guys there they're all big and robust so um, that's sort of the strength of their team and that's just the way that they are and it's um, their quality their quality side and we just let them well, we just let, uh, let things slip that night. So keep your fingers crossed, Mano two can not do so well, and, uh, and and we can still play on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully Mano two sort of get the, at the end of the stick, but um, look to push on towards Tasman next week. But we'll see what happens. Uh, let's look ahead to your career. Good news this week, uh, and that you got a sign for the Hurricanes. You must be delighted. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, yeah, real happy. And uh, for it to be released when we're in Auckland, just to be around family is real good, eh? and just to have their comfort around there, and um, just to tell them how it went, and sort of some of them, mum and dad knew first, and sort of the others were sort of, they're sort of shocked, but um, thought that I would have told them before I got uh, released in the press, but sort of wanted to keep it on the deal, and but uh, it was real good to be home for it to be announced. So you've got a one-year deal to prove yourself, haven't you? Yeah, one-year deal. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, just go up there willing to learn and take take as much as I can into into next year and hopefully push on from there and see what happens. The foot in the door, so um, yeah, we'll work with that. And what have they told you they like about your game that's that's given you this opportunity? Um, just my ball carrying ability, just that, um, just to get over the advantage line. Um, sort of uh, defensive reads, but then sort of being 50-50 as well. So sort of just working on just being real decisive on de- uh, defence and um, yeah, just that offload game, just to carry, uh, just to keep the momentum of the game going forward. So, yeah. Good reward for two good years in ITM Cup for you. Yeah, sort of started this year. This year's ITM Cup a bit shaky. Sort of um, thought that I'd ruin a chance to get that Super 15 contract, but then picked up my game a bit in the last few weeks, and I was pretty fortunate to pick up that last spot for, with the Hurricanes. And I think a little bit of help from Willis too, because when he came on the scene, it took a little bit of pressure off you, didn't he? he shared the workload. Yeah, Willis, a real quality player. Love uh, working outside him. He feeds uh, feeds a lot of uh, information outside me, so he sees things that a lot of players don't see, and um, for him to feed that outside and for me to run off him it's, it's, it makes my job a lot uh, easier. And it'll be much easier for Dad and the family to see you play live. Uh, a bit closer to home, aren't you, in Wellington? Yeah, a bit closer to home. So it's sort of good being in Wellington, closer to home, but then also changing the series to come back here for ITM Cup and um, join, join the Stags back down here as well next year. So it's good to have those two environments, sort of the fast life up there, and then come back here and just lay low for the ITM Cup. So the final Premiership table finished with Canterbury moving into second place to secure the home semi-final against Auckland at 2.30 Saturday. Wellington hosts the Steelers in the Friday night clash. Waikato were the best of the rest, but clearly never a real title contender. The Steamers head south over the summer. Tasman were on top of the championship for most of the season and deservedly so. The nature of their win over the Turbos typifying the professionalism shown throughout. Otago earned their right to host Hawke's Bay on Sunday afternoon. Southland have been given a lifeline 4.30 Saturday but whether they can grab it with both hands or turn it into a noose will remain to be seen.